Hey everybody, uh, just checking in to see how you're doing and um, yeah, it's been an interesting weekend, uh, if you can call it a weekend, because one day blows pretty much into the other. Uh, I'm not sure how you all found it, but um had an online quiz on Friday night, um, which was fun. I did really, really badly. I think we got 13 out of 30. Um, and we did it on, um, it was a comedy cut, it was great. So thanks Ben for that, it was fa fabulous. But I um, hadn't done anything like that before. And uh, there was some, some of us um, contestants on Zoom and some on um, Facebook Live. And I was on Zoom and I thought I had been muted. So when they called out, uh, they asked one of the answers for one of the questions um, was um, fill in the missing word for a lyric. I shouted out, darling, like some something like, like I was some form of Tourette's or something from uh, Blackadder and didn't realise I wasn't on mute. So I gave everybody the answer. So uh, the quiz master said, thank you very much, Nancy, for sharing the answer with us all. So yes, a note to self next time is um, to have to be on mute. Um, but it was good fun. I'm really glad. It was just really nice to kind of see um, that there are other people out there. Um, you know, even if they're, you know, they're people you're never going to meet, um, but just seeing other people's faces and other families and you know, people were there and they're sort of dressed up and some were in their pajamas and it was just really lovely actually and it just made me, made me sort of think, gosh, there is a world out there. That, that was really heartening actually, really enjoyed it, even, even, even as I say, we did absolutely shockingly badly, um, but uh, yeah, it was, it was really good fun. Uh, it's been a yeah, strange Easter, did a virtual Easter egg hunt for my boys, which was lovely. Um, but yeah, it's it's been okay actually. Um, you know, we've been very lucky with the weather, so um, you can't complain about that because bank holidays normally are pretty dismal. Um, but I, another thing I want to sort of um, uh, talking about things that make you feel good, that'll make you feel good, and sometimes it's the simple things in life. Now I think it's the simple things that we're taking pleasure from. And I know myself. Um, just yesterday, I uh, just kind of washing my hair and changing my um, bed linen and just a little thing like that and then painting my toenails. So I'm just gonna show you, here we go. Not very good at this actually. Um, and just a little thing like that just made me feel so good. And it's just say, just a little thing. So if you're feeling a bit miserable, maybe just try something for you that, you know, that obviously you might not normally have time to do you know, like paint your toenails. And the weird thing is, it's like, nobody's gonna see me. Um, but it just made me feel better, because I see me, I see my, I'm looking at my feet every single day and I wanna look at my feet and think that they look pretty and you know, they don't look like, you know, hobbit's hooves or anything like that. So just the little things. Um, and as I say, sort of, you're putting on a nice necklace, something that you really like, or, you know, just, I don't know, putting on a nice dress, as I say, just will make you feel so much better. Another thing I wanted to talk about um, that I've kind of noted um, is uh, what's become part of the vernacular, our everyday language. Uh, words like Zoom, furlough, self-isolation, cov idiots. I mean, all these words that six weeks ago, these were just not words in our vocabulary. I mean, Zoom was obviously um, a, a method of communication, but only sort of business people did that. Now everybody's zooming here, there and everywhere and it's just quite the buzzword actually. Um, so I thought that, you know, that's quite interesting and it'd be interesting to see if they, um, there's words that they do, because I know that every year they add words to the um, Oxford English Dictionary, um, sort of, you know, part of, you know, the, all the urban dictionary that, that, you know, become part of our everyday lives. And, uh, you know, furlough, obviously furloughing is something that none of us had really heard of before. I mean, I thought it was something to do with farming. I thought it was a farming term. I think that's furrowing or fallowing or something. I don't know. Anyway, but that's what I thought. For, uh, that's what furlough was, um, and you know, obviously self isolation and the, and the term cov idiots and oh my god, there are plenty of those out there. I mean, I can hear them outside now. I mean, just full on having a you know out their skateboards and their bikes and just you know, I don't know. So again, another another word that. Uh, we will remember from 2020, but yeah, what a what a strange what a what strange times we're living in. Um, so yeah, so if there's any other words that you can think of that we you know that we're using now, um, you know that we would you know never have thought of before. I'd be interested to know what yours are as well. But the whole virtual thing, doing virtual quizzes, uh, online, you know me doing online style sessions. So if anybody wants to book an online style session this week, please let me know. It's not like I'm going anywhere. I'd love to help. Absolutely love the couple that I've done. Um, so let's kind of sort of help each other and, uh, you know, let's, you know, let's just kind of 
make each day a little bit easier and uh, you know spread the love spread our skill set I think it's really important that we spread our skill set because we've all got so much to offer and um, you know, if we can help someone else you know feel less isolated or you know, as I say pass on a skill that you know we have and that somebody else can learn from well then that's got to be a good thing this isn't meant to sound like a lecture by the way it's just I know this, this is what's making me, me feel a little bit better so if it's something as simple as sort of painting your nails or you know changing your bed sheets or you know doing your roots not that I would know how to do my roots now I mean look at my roots it's shocking I don't know what I'm going to do about that um but uh, you know as I say if it's going to make you and some other people you know others feel a little bit better then that's got to be a good thing so here end of the lesson take care guys bye